Okay, I'm back here with the um, the wireless camera, wireless receiver, and um, I wanted to show you guys the box. Uh, everything is all packed up and ready to go to Rhode Island, um, so I'm going to show it to you closed up and then open it up just so you can see inside. But this is the receiver and then the mini wireless cam that communicate with one another, and then the receiver has RCA jacks on it with RCA wires and you can connect it to the aux channel of your TV to you know do whatever use it as a nanny cam um, you can drive R2 around in virtual reality mode and see what he sees um, or you can put it in a window by your front door hook it up to your aux channel if you're watching TV someone rings the doorbell you click it over to aux and now you can see who's standing at your front door um, so he also can be used as a security droid so uh, here's the box contents all easy to use, everything, the instructions are in here. There's your two different power supplies. One powers the camera indefinitely, and the other one powers the receiver indefinitely. Um, so if you don't want to use the camera on 9-volt battery mode, you've got the two power supplies. Um, so there, that covers the receiver and the wireless camera. And then here is the virtual reality video glasses. And uh, of course, we've here's your manual, and we've spruced them all up with uh, <clears throat> an Imperial and Rebel logo, since you're going to be spying on the Imperials as a Rebel. So, there you go, um, virtual reality glasses. And this also has a, a battery enclosed that you can charge, a lithium-ion battery, and go wireless with the glasses if you want. You don't have to be tethered to the, the power cord, so that's kind of nice. Gives you about four or five hours of use on a charge. Um, so you can you know watch these in the car or on an airplane, and they accept any RCA video input, you know audio and video. Uh, so if you've got a portable DVD player, you know whatever, you can plug right into it. Um, so there, that covers the virtual reality glasses. And um, now moving on to his remote control features. Um, here we go. This is the remote control. And because this is an, an independent system inside of R2 Q5, um, the way that this works is there's been a power switch installed in the bottom of R2, and there's no way I don't think you're gonna be able to see it on the camera because it's a heavy duty electronic switch that's mounted underneath. Maybe you can kind of see it right there. And what this does is it switches, it switches the power between his internal D batteries, the four big D batteries that go inside the interactive part of R2, that he uses in interactive mode. And it just basically switches uh, the motivator switch haha, from the D batteries over to his internal uh, lithium ion rechargeable RC battery here. And so you've got two leads inside of here that connect to one another like any other RC plane car or boat and when you want to charge them you disconnect these plug it into the wall it only takes about mm, a couple hours to charge up um, and he runs for a while on one charge um, I think I've gotten a good 30 minutes of runtime out of him um, you know on one charge which is nice and he also goes a lot faster when you're using him in RC mode because this has a much higher voltage battery so all this is hidden in here you just plug it in right now it's plugged in um, in RC mode. You flip this switch on the bottom to RC mode and it's a completely independent system again. Um, switch on the, the remote control and then the way this works is kinda like a pod racer. So if you push forward, um, gotta do this backwards, you push forward on one leg and pull it back, it's only operating one leg at a time. If you do the opposite, the other leg, one leg at a time. Okay, so if you push him in opposite directions, he spins. Other way. There you go. Um, so that covers the remote control part of him. Now, if you want him to work like the original Hasbro electronics, you would switch the switch into the other position. And you would fire him up. And let 
let him warm up a little bit. He's going to start talking to me. And so then, same deal here. You take off his safety brake. <laughs> and um, you're going to say, R2, go on patrol. Hey, R2, reset system. <laughs> reset system. Go on patrol. So there you go. He's off. All right, so we're going to shut him off with the emergency brake and shut him back off. Otherwise, he's going to be talking the whole time. Um, so, yeah, he, he does everything the Hasbro version does. All that was left intact. Um, another really cool thing about this conversion is we covered the plastic um, lines, the plastic hydraulic lines on his feet with real copper braided hoses um, and sec secured them in place with heat shrink on, e on either end black heat shrink, um, so he looks much more like the original um, on-screen version of R2-Q5. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that pretty much covers everything this R2 can do. Uh, another cool thing that he comes with is uh, a custom-made holographic stand, and it's got the Imperial logo on it, and uh, it rotates. It's got one AA battery in here that rotates, and then if you want to illuminate your holographic figures, four LEDs in the top of it, and then uh, R2 gets to communicate with Vader. And you got to have that with R2Q5, right, on the Death Star. Oh, and uh, the last thing before I forget, um, definitely one of his cooler features, is this R2Q5 comes with chrome rocket boosters. And so here's two of them. Turn them on. You can choose whatever you color you want by toggling through the colors. So it starts with red, uh, kind of a greenish color, and so on. So we got blue on here, and what we've done is installed the high power magnets in both of his legs. They're hidden and glued on the insides of his legs, and all you do to put, turn, put them on is they're magnetically, uh, magnetically ready to go for the rocket boosters, and they just attached to the sides via the magnets and there's one on one side there's one on the other side ready to go so there he is in all of his glory um, hope you enjoy him on many of his missions across the galaxy and uh, as always may the force be with you feel free to leave comments and questions how we did things um, and uh, yeah, we'll have some fun with it. All right, take care, guys. Thanks for watching. Jedi Arms Dealer, out.